Hi, well, uh, if you remember, I had an earlier video about this Spirit Steinberger. This is the five string version. And I said that the back pickup was quite weak. Uh, I did various research into these things and um, I got the standard sort of cheap pickups from you know where. And if you look there, they're certainly wide enough to fit a five string, but they would require re routing. Um, and the standard size is three and a half inch by one and a half inch, which just happens to be the size of a humbucker. So I thought, do you know what? Warman do some pretty good stuff. This set was 30 pounds, 32 pounds, something like that. So let's get them with some mountain rings for another couple of quid. They're only plastic, but they're there just to hold them in. And you see, I put some sticky back plastic on the back. And what I'm going to do is to string it up, tension it. And then what I'll do is I'll just take the the pickup wire and this gives you the option to do all the sort of series parallel at the moment i won't bother with that i'll just uh they're, they're pre-wired in series i believe so you don't split the cord if, if that's the right terminology i'm sorry if it's not um and i'll just basically wire it into the output jack with some of these um cables here and the idea is just to get an idea so of what it sounds like so there's there's no pot we're going through i have some um uh, I got them from Warman as well, if I can find them in a minute on my wonderful desk, here we are. I got some sort of 500 uh, log uh, push-pull, so I might experiment with uh, using the coil split and or whatever it's called to do the series parallel stuff. Uh, but let's just see what these things sound like, because obviously if, if they sound rubbish, and it's no disrespect to, to, to Warman if they sound rubbish, this is on a bass guitar, it's not meant for a bass, but... You know, Rickenbackers have got standard pickups on it. Let's give it a go, because at £30, it's worth a go. Um, the main pickups are sort of £200 a pop uh, for EMGs or whatever, and, and Aguila. And I'm really not interested in spending that kind of cash. And if that don't work, well, I have a template that I've made, and I'll just route out with a Dremel tool um, for these cheaper pickups, which are, I think, 12 to 13 k The standard pickups here... These ones are about 9k. When they go in parallel, it comes out to about 5. Uh, and these Warman pickups are something like 15. They're, they're, they're pretty punchy. So let's see what it sounds like. All right, I, don't, I don't know if we can see this here. We've got the green wire going to the outer shield. Um, and what is that? The red and white are stuck together. And I'm sorry, I'm a bit colorblind. I don't know if that's black and bare. I think that's what goes to the earth. That's why I put it on the black lead. And if I want to do the the splitting or whatever it's called this the north south divide then i unsolder these and put them into various configurations but let's give this a go and see what it sounds like and this is on the if it's black it's the neck and if it's red it's the bridge that seems to be the warm and color code so let's see what it sounds like so for this first bit let's just use uh the squire i made a video about this earlier where i put a new bridge on it so that That's the, the P bass. So the P bass on this is pretty big output. So now let's put the other one in line in the same place and see what it sounds like. So here we have the green wire is going to the uh, positive output. The black wire is going to the negative of the lead. And you can hear a buzz. That's mainly because there's no bridge wire in here at the minute or anything like that so let's just switch it over here wow that's that's quite a bit of output more than i was expecting compared to the other one and i haven't set it up at the minute i've just got the the couple of strings on so let me just finish off the strings and set it up and tension it and see what it's like but it's ready it's encouraging okay Okay, we're trying to film at a strange angle here. So what I've done now, I've put all the strings on and I've wired the back pick up in. Uh, I've got a flat spot here. I need to, I leveled it and I didn't quite get this A string right. So I've got one fret to do, but the pickup output on the bridge pickup is all right. But this one's a bit weaker. The, the B string's a bit weaker, but if you look, it's... Probably not that surprising because it's just about on the edge of the field. I don't know if I can position a bit more. At the moment it was just a case of trying it with the 
uh, sorry, there you can see it's slightly better. It's off, uh, off. But I don't play the bridge that much. Or I could put the the original pickup in the bridge position and and just use the um, the Warman in the neck, which is I mean it's it's pretty good in the neck. I, I quite like this. It's quite loud. It's just about fits. So I, that's definitely a mod I'm going to be keeping. And um, yeah, I'll post more as I get on with it. I've got to flatten this A string here because it's just slightly proud. This um, lower uh, first threat. Um, but the action is pretty good on this at the minute. And I'll set it up and, and let you guys see how it plays later.